Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one, but if you saw my um, Tuesday blog post, this was the project that I put in there and I did promise you that a video would be coming soon. So this was for the Colour Your World blog hop and I made this box and I decorated it. So that's how I used up the colours. And then I thought, I need to show you how to make the box. And because I don't put a video into a card project today, or certainly not into my hop projects, I'm bringing it to you now, but I'm making a Christmas one, so it's Poodle's Advent Countdown meets Colour Your World. So, super easy to make. I'm going to move those out to one side. You need a piece of cardstock that's 8 by 11 inches, which is 20 by, sorry, 28 by 20 centimetres. All the details will be on my blog, so click open the description bar and you'll see a link directly to this project. Okay, so long side, score it at 3 and a quarter, 5 and a quarter, eight and a half and ten and a half inches which in metric is eight thirteen twenty one and twenty six and then turn it to one side and score it at two inches which is five centimeters and this is just ordinary whisper white it's not even the thick whisper white it's just the regular stuff um, brilliant to stamp on which is why i chose it rather than the thick because our whisper white is the same thickness or the same weight as our coloured cardstock, but it has been compressed um, super, super smooth, so it's brilliant to stamp on. And the same with the very vanilla. Okay, so I have just, I've folded and burnished all my score lines. I'm gonna trim it and I'm going to stamp it. So this is my little skinny bit. I'm gonna take the edge off there and cut off that little skinny bit there. We don't like the skinny bit, get rid of them. Okay, so I've just tiny mitre at the edge there and taken that bit off. And I'm going to cut up my score lines. And do this first so that you know which bit to stamp on. So that's going to be where my glue goes. So that's the seam and I want that at the back. So that means this is the panel that I want to stamp on. So the wider one. Okay, so I have got Hug in a Mug love this stamp set it's so cute absolutely adore it and it's great because you've got outlines and then you've got the liquid kind of to go inside so what i'm going to do is i'm going to prep them all up so i've got a bunch of blocks here I'm going to flip that one over i've got a do you know what i'm going to see if i can get that off now because it's irritated yeah you see it's left all the backing i need to fiddle with that but i'm going to put all my bits on now so I'm going to get the outlines of my mugs and stick them on these larger blocks these are that's a B block that one I think is a C block and that must be an A block so I'm going to put them on the larger ones and then the bits I want to so those are my my two mugs and my cup I've got some whipped cream or foam there I've got steam there and I've got marshmallows so I've got those on. I'm going to add other bits on, but I want to, because I want to stamp six bits, I need to make sure that I can fit them all on. So I've got my memento ink. So I'm going to come in with this one first. And pop that down at the bottom. And I'm going to give that some whipped cream. And I really hope I'm not going to headbutt the top of the camera. But let's cover that. Looking over the top. So I can't get my head completely over, so I'm going to have to hope that fitted pretty much. Let's have the cup off here. Let's see if I can cover up that smudge. I can. We'll have steam off that one. I'm really sorry for getting my hair in this. It's not intentional. Have another cup. About there. And I want this one, I think. There. What shall I put off the top of that one? I'm going to put cream off that one. And like I say, I'm trying to look over the top but without getting my head or an ear in the camera. Um, another one of those marshmallows on this one, I reckon. I'm really looking at this. I'm looking at this sideways. You can't see at all what I'm doing, but <laughs> it's funny. And then last one. What should we have off the top of that one? Steam, I reckon. 
Okay. And then I've got my stamp and scrub off to one side, which is fantastic. So I've got my wet, I've got my dry, and I'm just going to spritz some stamping mist on because I want some of these blocks back. I do have duplicates of my blocks, and I have that for a very good reason, so that I can do this kind of a thing. But I'm going to put that back on there and grab a spoon. I'm going to put that one back on and grab the candy cane, which is there. Put that one back on and grab a heart. this one back on and I want a tree so okay so I'm going to come back in so I'm going to stick a spoon or the spoon handle off the side of here and actually it is slanted I really hope I can see what I'm doing that's close enough candy cane where should we stick the candy cane out of this one I reckon oh, oh I didn't get the top of it sort of, that'll do. I'm going to have the heart on this one I think. And where did that tree go? I'm going to have the tree on that one I reckon. And then now what I need to do is fill in all my mugs. This is going to be a lot of fun now trying to do this seriously without getting my head in the camera. So let's put these back. If you haven't heard my mantra, my mantra is don't put it down, put it away. So I'm putting away, because otherwise I would lose, particularly some of these are super tiny. It's that little tree. So I want to fill in my mugs now, so. Oh, I need a bigger one. Put that one back. Oh, and Fennel's letting us know that she's here. Right, okay, well, let's grab some colours. And I, I did bring a few out. So what colour was this one? This was Sahara Sand. So and I'm going to stamp off because I don't, I don't want it to be too dark. So I'm lining that one up there. Clean that up. And I'm going to come in with some Garden Green, I think, for the other one. Definitely stamp that off because that will be way too dark. Actually, the third one would be best. And I have another green mug, I think. And I'll do that second level. Which is that one? Oh, yes, there we go. Because it's got a tree on it anyway. Wow. Can you hear her? Um, I think I'm going to... Should I leave that one plain? No. I'm Soft sky on that one. What's that like, first go? Oh, that's quite good, first go round. And then finally, red. And I love this stamp set because there are so many elements to it. Yeah, second level for the red, I think. I, can't, I really can't see that one. Because... On this one, I've got all of this detailing on, which you take from these stamp sets, so, or from the stamps, I should say. And there are different widths to them. So this narrower one, or this one that's slightly shorter, is great for going across these mugs, but nowhere near wide enough for there. So, perfect on there. And then you've got some that's that little bit longer which are these ones, and they are very good, particularly good for going across these cups. Oh, I'm, I'm not angling this very well. It's really, I promise you, it's, it's only because you're right above me and I can't get my head over the top. Okay, what else have I got? I've got my markers here, because I want to fill in that little heart there. So I've got a real red marker. And I'm going to go over that garden green on that tree just to make it stand out a bit more. 
I've also got Wink of Stella. Oh, I need to put some red on my candy cane. That, well, it's a bit of a hopeless candy cane now. But it's fine. So Wink of Stella for my lovely cream on the top of my hot chocolate, because I reckon that's what it is. And on my marshmallows, definitely on the spoon. I probably could have coloured that in as well. Fantastic. So I'm just going to set that off to one side to dry a little bit. And then I'll have to stamp the words, because... I've got a tag on the front. Sweep. So what are we going for? You warm my heart because I'm going to fill this bag with hot chocolate. So what size do I want? Well, I kind of want a tag. So I want it long and thin. So I'm going to go for one and a quarter inches by three inches. So I've just lined it up on my grid paper. I'm going to grab if I've got some. I've got, a, I've got some here that I scored wrong so what did I say oh no I only want it one inch I reckon so I hope I can cut this one inch by three inches I reckon that should be about right. maybe maybe I'll do it four and cut it down get my word up on my block I like the clear ones because you don't need to see completely through but that's when you don't have a camera above your head. You all my heart. Did I put the heart back? I did. Put that heart back out again. Colour that in in red. Good job I didn't go in three inches. That would be way too small. Chop off. Clear your desk, punch a hole, get the right punch, here we go, a little handheld punch to punch a hole and then I'm going to put the bag together and show you how I get the ribbon to not slip about because I've got little grooves there. So that should be, that wink of cellar should be nice and dry now. Too cute. Right. Last fuse down one side. So that's the box, because obviously there's no stamping on there. So fold two sides in and the box and the, the back. Glue up the bottom. If you're putting something in that's very heavy, plenty of glue. And then pinch the sides shut. And if you just use your fingers, it will help it go down. But now I want to get my little holes in. So that's these little grooves so this ribbon doesn't slip. So coming back in with that same punch, because I can see where I'm going... I can, you can't. I know that I've got these little grooves cut out now. And this punch is particularly good for this because you can see down and through. So that's my little grooves in there. I'm going to bring in this ribbon. And you can curl this ribbon. Oh, hurrah! It is, well, it's real red, I know that. It's called, sol oh, it's just simply called solid ribbon, but you can curl it. Got to love a curl. And I want to clip this shut, so let's grab a couple of these just to hold it shut for a minute. A ribbon in place. Oopsie. And I want quite long tails because I want to curl it. on my tag that I've made Do you know what I needed to put that on before <laughs> put the tag on before you tie a knot always simpler because then you can position that afterwards so quite tight. Oh, I've all fingers and thumbs today. This project is determined to cause me issues. This is not the first time I've filmed it. <laughs> there we go. 
tag on, ribbon in place, twist it round, and what you do now is you get your scissors and curl and go, it will have naturally been in place round the reel, but you just curl it like regular curling ribbon and it curls up nicely. You might need to go over a couple of times. And that's how you get a little curl on your bag. Fill it with hot chocolate. Absolutely lovely. So this is my, my Christmas project. And this is my Colour Your World one. With a Christmas hostess stamp set, I might add. Love it. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.